Hi guys, 新年快乐 It means Happy New Year in Mandarin. Jiaozi is one of the major food eaten during Chinese New Year and year-round in the northern part of China. The Chinese believe that by serving them and eating them is to bring prosperity. There are different types of filling and methods of preparations. Jiaozi is typically consists of ground meat or vegetable filling, and is then wrapped into thinly rolled pieces of dough, which is then sealed by pressing the edges. There are a few methods to cook this dumpling. You can boil them, steam them, and pan fry. And today, I will be doing the pot sticker. This means that I will pan fry them till they are crispy from the outside, and later I will steam them till they are cooked through. This dumpling are usually eaten with a soy vinegar dipping sauce. But before I start, let me give you an overview of today's episode. First, let's make the fillings. Soak the dry shiitake mushroom one hour before. Chop them finely into small, small cubes. This dried mushroom is best soaked overnight, but if you forgot to do it, you can soak them in hot water. This will speed up the process. Keep and set aside the liquid used for soaking the dried mushroom. I love the crunch of the fresh onion in the filling, so today I'm adding two small onion here. I'm using a mixture of pork and beef today. If you are a vegetarian, you can use tofu, egg, and other vegetables. Add the finely chopped mushroom. The mushroom and the onion mixture make the meat much more lighter to eat. Followed by the chopped onions. And some chopped scallions or spring onions. And for seasoning, I'm adding soya sauce. I use the light colored one. For nuttiness, some sesame oil. Mixture of salt and sugar. And a pinch of white ground pepper. There is actually no rules to use as filling. The filling is up to individual. This gives you room for creativity, don't you think? I bet that is the reason why this dish is so popular. The filling is done. Now, let's make the dough. First, add some plain flour in the cake or bread mixer. If you do not have this mixer, you can mix by hand too. Add some olive oil to smoothen the dough. If you do not have olive oil, you can use normal cooking oil too. Next, add some hot water. This method will half cook the flour, but if you are using hand, use just warm water so you won't get burnt. You can also use spatula if you think that using hot water is much better. And when the dough comes together like this, it's time to let the dough rest for one hour under a damp towel. Mmm, one hour of waiting. Now I can relax my feet. Here are the things we need to roll the dough. We need some plain flour, a roller, and a cutter. If you do not have this cutter, you can use knife too. Sprinkle the dough with some flour and cut them into smaller pieces. Make sure you use enough flour so that it will not stick onto your hand or the roller when rolling. And don't you worry if the size is bigger than the other. This is home meat, not factory meat, so it is supposed to be unique and special. As you can see, some flour is needed to be used here. So, to prevent the dough from drying out, make sure you cover them under a damp cloth. Now, cut the dough. Press the cut dough on a flat work surface using a rolling pin. Roll the dough out to make a nice round shape.
try to rule it out as thin as possible. In the traditional Chinese wrapper, the Chinese used to make the edge much thinner and much thicker in the inside of the dough, but I prefer my dough to be thin throughout. Now this wrapper is ready and it's time to put the filling. Now spoon some fillings onto the wrapper. Use water as a glue to seal the dumpling. Just beware that you do not overload the fillings because too much filling can be a bit difficult to cook through. As you can see, there are a little bit too much dough on this corner. You can use a bowl or a dough cutter to cut out the excess dough. By cutting the edges, this will create a more uniform look. Now, the fun part. Starting from one corner of the dumpling, pinch and twist the dough. Press the dough firm but gently, so that it looks like a dumpling looking dumpling. <laughs> Occasionally, I laugh at myself while cooking. Sometimes it's so difficult with words. See? So pretty! Okay, now into the hot pan, you cute little rascal. Fry the dumplings on a pan with hot oil until it's brown on both sides. Remember the mushroom stalks I told you to keep? Pour the stalks over the brown dumpling so that it will add extra flavors to the dumpling while steaming. Put the lid on and lower the heat to medium. Let the dumpling cook under cover for 3 to 5 minutes or until most of the moist evaporated. Mmm, look, it's ready. But before we eat, we need to make a dipping sauce. In a small mixing bowl, add some fresh grated ginger, some light soy, some sugar, and some dark vinegar. Mix well. Make sure that your filling is cooked through. Let's have a taste. Mmm, I love the crunch of the raw onions and the flavors of the shiitake mushrooms. The skin of the dumpling is so thin and crispy. And the flavors of the ginger and vinegar make the dish super tasty. I hope you give this recipe a try and share this video with someone who might like this too. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video, okay? Thanks! Now is the peak season for the Chinese to bake Chinese New Year cookies. In my next recipe, I will show you how to make this unique savory cookies made from shrimps, shallots, garlic, chili, butter and flour. So, please do not forget to subscribe if you do not want to miss the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do join me again on Thursday for another delicious recipe. Bye! Take care!